Hello, today we're going to talk about the CISE Motronic Engine Management System for the 2-liter 16-valve engines for the Passat, the 1990 model year 16-valve GTI, and the Jetta GLI 16-valve. Now things that we're going to cover are component location and how they operate, what's new when compared to the CISE system, and how to check and adjust the basic engine settings. This system is similar to the CISE system used on the 1.8 liter 16 valve engines. The CISE Motronic system uses a single control unit with a MAP style ignition combined with fuel injection control. The ECU for the Motronic system is located here in the plenum chamber. Now the next thing we need to cover is the component locations and how they operate. This system uses a frequency valve and an on-off valve to regulate the fuel vapors from the carbon canister. The on-off valve and the frequency valve are located here under the intake air boot. The on-off valve here is open when the engine is running to allow fuel vapors from the carbon canister to be drawn into the intake manifold. The valve is closed when the engine is off. The frequency valve here is used to regulate the amount of fuel vapors entering the intake manifold when the engine is running. This system uses an air sensor plate potentiometer to measure the engine's load for ignition timing. The air sensor plate potentiometer has an additional function when compared to the CISE system and that is to regulate the frequency valve for the carbon canister. A trim screw has been added to the side of the potentiometer. This allows you to adjust the signal voltage without moving the entire potentiometer. If the signal voltage needs to be adjusted, be careful not to damage the trim screw when removing the silicone sealer. After the adjustment has been performed, make sure that the hole is resealed with a silicone sealer. Next, let's talk about idle switches. There are two types. On a manual transmission car, the idle switch is located at the top of the throttle housing here. Vehicles equipped with a four-speed automatic transmission, the idle switch is down here below the throttle housing. The switch is inside this black housing. This black housing also incorporates a potentiometer for the transmission ECU. The idle stabilizer valve used on this system is a new single winding rotary type. The valve is operated by a duty cycle. The duty cycle determines the position of the rotary valve and the size of the opening. The system will regulate the idle speed between 700 and 900 RPM. With this system, no idle speed adjustments are necessary. To ensure proper system operation, make sure that the idle air bypass screw is fully turned into the throttle housing. If a component controlling the valve's operation or the wiring to the valve should fail, the valve will go into a fail-safe mode. When this happens, the rotary valve will turn and go into a fixed position like you see here. With the engine at operating temperature, this should produce an idle speed of around 1100 RPMs. The fuel injectors are new with a higher opening pressure. The injector opening pressure is between 3.7 and 4.8 bar. These high pressure injectors have a finer thread for the line connection. When testing the injectors using the US8034, an adapter US8034-7 is needed to connect the injector to the pressure tester. Ignition timing is determined according to a pre-programmed values in the CISE Motronics control unit. The ignition timing is basically determined according to the engine speed and engine load. The CISE Motronic system uses two knock sensors. One knock sensor is between cylinders number one and two, and the other between cylinders number three and four. The use of two knock sensors allows the slightest knocking noise to be detected. Since two knock sensors are used, an ignition reference sensor is needed. The reference sensor is used to identify what cylinder is being fired. The sensor is attached to number four plug wire. The differential pressure regulator, 
basically performs the same function as it did on the CISE system with one exception. The operating range of the differential pressure regulator during oxygen sensor control has been increased by almost 50% when compared to CISE. Circuitry in the CISE Motronic Control Unit determines the air-fuel ratio and adjusts the ratio to the optimum level to compensate for any changes in the engine's operating conditions, for example, a small air leak. The ECU will compensate for this during oxygen sensor operation. The system will now use this new value for both open and closed loop operation. This capability allows the system to adapt to engine operating conditions such as altitude changes, small intake leaks, or other deviations. What we'd like to cover next are the basic engine adjustments. The first thing we need to do is hook up the VAG1551 and check to see if there are any faults stored in the Motronics permanent fault memory. Select 1 for rapid data transmission, then select 0, 01 for engine electronics and the Q button. Before checking the ignition timing, idle speed and CO content, the fault memory must be called up and all faults, if any, must be read then eliminated followed by erasing the fault memory. To select the fault memory, select 02. If no faults have been recorded, the engine basic settings will need to be checked. To connect the test equipment, start with the exhaust gas analyzer and let it warm up. The VAG1367 and the multimeter to the differential pressure regulator. Before you start the engine, make sure that the polarity of the multimeter is correct. To check this, first set the multimeter to the proper scale. Then turn on the ignition. You should get a plus sign if the meter is hooked up correctly. If not, just reverse the leads from the meter. Now start the engine. Now with the engine running and operating temperature and all the electrical consumers switched off, we want to check the ignition timing. The ignition timing should be 6 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees before top dead center. If the timing is incorrect, the timing will need to be corrected to 6 degrees plus or minus 1 degree before top dead center by simply turning the ignition distributor. Now that we know the ignition timing is within specs, we need to check the idle speed. Remember, the idle speed is not adjustable. If the idle speed is out of specs, refer to the repair manual microfiche for troubleshooting instructions. To check the CO, disconnect both crankcase breather hoses. Make sure that the restrictor remains in the breather hose going to the intake manifold. Also, disconnect the hose to the frequency valve from the carbon canister. The milliamp current should be between 0 and 5 milliamps and fluctuating. If not, the CO content will need to be adjusted. To adjust the CO, turn the fuel mixture screw until you get the milliamp current to read between 0 and 5 milliamps. With a milliamp current between 0 and 5 milliamp, the CO reading should be between 0.2 and 1.2 percent on the exhaust gas analyzer. It is also important to leave the oxygen sensor connected during all your checks and adjustments. If the oxygen sensor is disconnected during the adjustment procedure, the ECU will not be updated and will remain at whatever the last input value was, maybe too rich or maybe too lean. After all your adjustments have been completed, make sure that the tamper-proof plug is replaced with a new one. Also, make sure that the fault memory is cleared using the 1551. Now, a few important points to remember are, the CISE Motronic system uses a frequency valve and an on and off valve to regulate the fuel vapors from the carbon canister. A trim screw has been added to the side of the potentiometer. This allows you to adjust the signal voltage without moving the entire potentiometer. Remember that these are high pressure injectors with a finer thread and when connecting the injector to the pressure tester US8034, an adapter US8034-7 is needed. 
The system has an adaptive fuel mixture control. This capability allows the system to compensate for changes in the engine's operating conditions, such as altitude changes, intake leaks, or other deviations. Before checking or adjusting the basic engine settings, check the Motronic's permanent fault memory for any faults. When checking the differential pressure regulator current, make sure that there is a plus sign on the meter when the ignition is switched on. If not, reverse the leads from the meter. Remember that the idle speed is not adjustable. To ensure proper system operation, make sure that the idle air bypass screw is fully turned into the throttle body. Leave the oxygen sensor lead connected when adjusting the CO so the system will continue to learn.